Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Hardware Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to configure your PFSense to act as a proxy server. So, what is a proxy server? Proxy server, by definition, is a server that acts as an intermediary for requests from clients seeking resources from other servers. So, as you can see in the diagram, this is our client PC. So, the client PC can access to the internet through the gateway which is the firewall so our firewall we will configure this one also to access the proxy server wherein wherein if we configure the proxy server to store cache then every time the user user access to a certain website it will it will undergo through the firewall and store its cache in here so we can configure that one in our p of sense so let's get started the package that we're going to to install in the pfSense is what we call the squid. So we'll install it first in our pfSense box here in system package manager then available packages. And search for squid squid search all right install confirm while we're waiting i'm gonna pause the video all right as you can see the installation is now completed so by the use of uh, proxy server in our pfSense box we can allow and prohibit a certain website in our network so we can manage the the website accessing through the proxy so we will configure it now it can be found here in the services and screen proxy server All right there's another diagram here so as you can see, there is a PC here. So every time a PC access to a certain website, it will go to the firewall, which is your gateway. And if your firewall is, con uh, is, or is also configured to act as a proxy server, then every time the computer search to the internet, it will undergo your, to your proxy server. And there is a certain access list there that you can, you can specify that is, uh, Am I going to allow this website or not? So it's up to you. So there's a rule there. You can put access list. And also, every, uh, you can also configure the cache, caching. So every first time that the PC will access a website, it will store the cache in your firewall. And the second time that there another computer will access to your firewall, so it will fetch the cache here in your firewall, not to the outside. So the response time will be fast so we will now configure pfSense and go first to the local cache right and most of the time we will leave the configuration to its default hardest cache size amount of this space in gigabytes to use for cache objects so I suggest that you will use 80% of your total hard disk. So my hard disk allocated to this PFSense box is 30 gigs. So I'm going to make it <clears throat> sample 20. 20 gig. Oh, 20 gig. 20,000 megabytes. Then level 1 directories specifies the number of level 1 directories for the hard disk cache. I will leave that to default or you can change that also if you want to put it 64 you can and objects larger than the size specified so in here objects smaller than the size in kilobytes will not be safe on this objects larger than the size specified will not be safe on this so we can specify it here the maximum size of a certain cache object that will be allowed to be stored in your in your uh, hard disk 
So, memory cache size specifies the ideal amount of physical RAM to be used for intensive objects. So, I will leave that to its default. You can also, you can also uh, modify it here. I suggest it, you use the 80% of your total RAM. So, my RAM as, is 1000, 1 gig, 1024 one MB. So, I can modify this one to 512 or 50 to 80 percent of your total RAM then we leave that to default then save right we can now configure to our general tab then enable speed proxy Click look back, one and look back. And enable this force to DNS IPv4 look at first. Okay, we can leave that by default. Uh, if you want to configure transparent proxy wherein you can you will not you will not change any configuration in your client's PC or to your network, you will configure transparent so it will automatically the client will not know that there is a proxy server in your network because it is configured transparently so transparent HTTP proxy therefore this proxy server will only will only log HTTP traffic no HTTPS then <clears throat> Check this one. I will make another tutorial of HTTPS SSL interception. So I will leave that unchecked first. And enable access logging. Rotation log, I'm gonna make it seven. Log pages denied by speed guard. So I will make another tutorial about Squid Guard. So Squid Guard is a package in your PFSense which uh, you functions as a content filtering. So I will make another tutorial with that. And I will leave this by default and enable this one. And save. You can configure antivirus using the CLAM AV, but I will not configure that here in this tutorial. Access control list, so you can specify the allowed subnets. So I'm going to specify my subnet 192.168.1.0 slash 24. This is my LAN subnet, so I'm going to put that there. And you can put here the controls or what you want to allow and disallow so, save I'm gonna save this one right this is it guys on how to configure your uh, proxy server so we will verify if our if our proxy server is not working in our network, so we will access a certain website. Am I behind a proxy? So as you can see, there is a proxy server active on your internet connection. I did not change any settings on my browser, so it automatically uh, adapts to the changes that, that I made in my PFSense because I configured the proxy server to act transparently so meaning you will not change any configuration in your client site it will automatically absorb the settings of your it will auto automatically they uh, it will automatically 
uh, know that there is a proxy server in your network. So our configuration works. So this is it, guys, I'm going to show you how to configure also the speed guard in another tutorial. So this is how you configure proxy server in your PFSense. Hope you like this video and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.